on the attacker side to make the entries happen. Oh, well, Brenny's let's go for the bomb flash there, and then there's a flash there from Wits, but he's still gonna get lighted and does get taken down there by Loki. Yes, sir, Bros Esports, they're on the prowl already, and they're on the hunt to go over the B side, but Jesse Bash stopping the speedway, setting up a toll gate. It's Dispenser now all alone versus two. Spatching out Night Kalim, turning his back against the Killjoy, but as Loki plays from main, it's Cerberus right now! Boxes. Um, and that's gonna be pretty interesting oh, here. Not. And you, you mentioned it, Dex. He's on a rampage over there. Now nah, they are a bit more reserved in what they're doing, but they're just falling apart at the seams with Dyklim getting caught there by Dubstep Kishi, though, with the refrag. Borkum now just returning the favor for Jesse Bash, catching out Kishi unaware this time. Really, eyes need to be open here. For both of these teams, they are getting caught out in these different angles, and Brand Esports have returned the favor after the revive. But in any case, now this is even smarter from Cerberus. Hot hands to flush out dubstep. The floor is lava, and there's no way you can float on that. Kishi burning down the jet. He's running back. I mean, he made the entry onto the side, paid the way for the rest of his team. Dispense is going to be taking down Suka. Daikalem does take Jesse Bash, though. Wits trades him out. Wits with a 2k. I'm sticking though on Cerberus, he's best like that and fast, and because of that, oh, Akashi still gets the takedown anyway, doesn't care about the Seekers, finds the headshot off the Wits, and it's all left to Borkum now, it's 2v1 though, can Borkum find the frag, there you go, Loki will fall, and Borkum again, it's time for him to shine. Here, Dubstep not opting to get a gun, oh. Dubstep takes down Suka, and another onto Daikalem, beautiful. Far, that's it's the so, thing, he just needs to scan. bro. Precision absolutely there from Dubstep, but Cerberus, they will still fight on back, and a good pick up here from Kishi. Now he's able to pick up the gun, go over the hot spans, but Dubstep, he's not over. He's not done, he wants more, and he knows he can find a few more frags, but Jensen Bash will just go for the wall banks there. Akashi though, beautiful tap with a head, and with a shock that amplified that damage, that's just gonna be it. Loki down with two so far, and Cerberus Esports are clawing their way out of this pickle. Oh, Dispenser, wrong, a utility, and there you have it, punishment! It's probably a bit of a fat finger, that's why he pulled out his utility as Loki was speaking him right there. But Jesse Vash, you know the Vash! On the clock, waiting for the opponent to get angsty here. Oh, there you go. And this is a really... Entry, Jesse Vash shattering the glass, and will go up top through the rappers. Borkum, though, does find Loki. Asuka is trying to go for the plant here. But Cerberus, they're getting denied. They're afraid of this setup right now on the other side. And even though this is their wall, they still have to be wary. Kishi right now, catching out Jesse Bash though. There's a little bit more of the push, but Borko on the flip side, making the plan work. It's 3v2 here, Dispenser dispensing Suka now, and it's all up to Daikalem. Can he find the ferocity in him, or will he just be cute and cuddly that Brand Esports can smother? And Cerberus, I really love what we're seeing from them. Just the respect right now by the team. But also finding the opportunities. Dubstep though. Watch out for this guy because he gets the first kill. Dash is on the left hand side. He's hungry for more. Is she there gonna come from the market? But Suka cannot find the kill on the dubstep anyway. It's two here for dubstep. Which now gonna get on the board here for Benny's for so far. But Kishi's not done. He oppressed the last time. Cerberus was on the C stage. And he's tried to do it yet again. Kerbal now gonna get thrown. Loki flicking to the left hand side. Just to avoid getting flashed. But Jesse Bash will still stay on in the angle. And Brandy Sports will clean up house yet. Yeah, he's gonna go for the running back plate just to put that spike down. Dispenser though trying to go for the spray and as Kishi puts the spike, he is gonna get set back from whence he came. Akashi though with that takedown. Perfect opening here for Cerberus so far. It's 5v4 and it does seem like here for Cerberus they will just run. keep an eye out as much as possible but no, the wall will get in the way. There we have it. Borkum going for the defuse and the silence, the hush falling into the battlefield but Loki will get to so far. Kishi on the board as well. Suka is there to wrap it up and of ascent as much as possible. It's comfort fix here for Brent but Dai Kalem will make sure nothing's cozy here for Brent Esports so far. Who's gonna turn on who first? Dai Kalem does! He's found out the Astra and the trap is fed. The trap is sprung and Dai Kalem getting that takedown. Big opportunity here for Cerberus. One more punish, perhaps? Yes, it is! And the patience game! It's panning out here for Cerberus! Even though these are the most subtle and softest kills, they make the loudest noises. And or CES, despite uh, Bren having the mad advantage here. Wits taking down Akashi, but Kishi quickly trades him out, Dex. Spike is going to be going down in the nick of time here, but Jesse Bash bringing out that Odin. Is he going to be able to find a pick here? He's going to be caught in a crossfire, though. In any case, though, Dubstep, Operator yet again, Jesse Bash, though, he gets on the board, there's Mike Lem, this time Dubstep, hopping on away, just not get shot too much, but Jesse Bash is not done, but Suka will force his hand, could be hanging back a little bit more, Cerberus, though, 
they, they still peek it, and oh, this Panzer, he makes it costly. While Cerberus was aware, it's still Brand looking to be the better shot, and that's what matters in this situation. Borka with the takedown, Wits will finalize things, and Brand is best on, on B site. So, really, Cerberus Esports evolving as we go, as I say, tenacious against the best teams that SE has to offer, and Brand Esports proving to be one of them on the other side. But Wits right now, Wits taking that cash, he's finding dubstep in response, making it 4v4. Jesse Bash still looking for another one, there's gonna be the right click, and this Dispenser will clean it up, Wits still with 3 so far, and it's all up to Loki now, can he find a little bit more of Mr. Mayhem coming into this round? Goes in hand, 2 stars at the ready, Borkum though hopping, and just telling Loki to keep an eye on him, but the distraction will work. Funny enough, if they take this series against Bren Esports, we are gonna get Civil War, if that's gonna be the case, with so Bren Esports, the only hopeful of the Philippines, looking to rally the nation right behind them, and they do want to make the path to Berlin a possibility. Dykelem though, looking to go for the Firefight, the Spence already is down and now dubstep gonna be on the other side and it does seem like Brent here trying to cosplay as the defenders but Kishi will remind them what the position is and get the backstab on the dubstep there 3v3 now Cerberus trying to fight on back Zuka though has been isolated and while Jesse Bash is blinded Kishi will be able to correct the same and get the kill there onto the Sova it's now all up to Wits here 1v3 we know that Wits can get things done and he will get the first one there versus Suka. is it still possible though with 50 HP that's the question one double peek here and ooh, I'll drone that spotted though, and this is the perfect spray down from Akashi. Dubstep with the refrag, but Cerberus even quicker on the re refrag, and we're adding more and more prefixes to this chain of kills. But at the same time, it has to be more pickoffs here for Cerberus, and as Loki tries all he could, you turn the word default upside down and out in front, actually. Gonna be an interesting call here for Bren, but they know they have the numbers advantage, they know they have already the battle bot up top the box, and they are just challenging Cerberus to come and take that One spike away remaining. from them. Time taking Witstow and Bork and work together to get that takedown. Suka here by the speedway, but the gravity well will keep him in check. And it's already gonna be a late check out here for Cerberus because Bren Esports will rally on forward. But Jesse Vash, look at his position. Hmm. If Kishi doesn't know that he's there, this is gonna be so vital right now for the you should Bren offense. The that Hunter's Fury is gonna provide cover just in case for the spike and keep an eye out on the back line if ever. Turtle does get broken there by Kishi as we have the lockdown now ticking on the way. Can Cerberus though actually get back on site? Yeah, that's no. That's a no. And this is a lot of time bought here by Bren Esports. You know, time is golden, time is priceless. And right now, Bren Esports is putting a price on Cerberus as they want to take the scoreline. Bren Esports right now do get a kill with one for Dispenser. Running back is denied as well. And while Cerberus is taking their sweet time, they are going to be able to get those takedowns with the holding line in the boathouse. But, you know, it doesn't matter here because someone's waiting on the other side of the map. He's the only one who escapes really. It's not exactly one-dimensional as compared to a lot of teams that we're used to seeing. So this is pretty interesting to note for the side of Bren as Dyklam will be taking out Dispenser Wits with a quick 2k. Oh, oh. my gosh. Jesse Bash Folly incoming. Where does it land? That's the question. As the shock darts will fly on high to the rafters, Bren Esports buying themselves some space to set up on a side. But the things that have been working out for Cerberus, it's not panning out this time. They took the gamble to go for the 5v5 retake a while ago. Did not work. This time though, they have the ultimates and they're waiting at the wings and waiting at the exits. One takedown each for the Sova as well as the Jet. Borkum though still staying on and... Uh, Borkum, an absolute hero. He will get turned into mincemeat there by Suka. But in a 1v1 scenario, Dubstep coming in from the Gardens. Beautiful Nano Swarm though. Just Suka understanding the potential angles Brent can come from. Halfway done, halfway left and Dubstep will not be for them. Run them over here onto A side with Kishi. Look at that! Bucky surprise, but Jesse Bash at least catching out Kishi as soon as the smoke dissipates. Brent Esports not pushing, understanding when the smoke was gonna go away, but still Cerberus. Just trying to go for a last hurrah there with the Phoenix. 4v4 at the very least. Dispenser is gone. So no irritating Nana Suarez for the post plant scenario if ever. And while Trace Blazer is haunting down Dyklem, the cost of the fight will dissipate and Loki will get that kill. Which now will fall. Dyklem on the board as well and Cerberus tries setting up the stations and doing it well. It's 3v2 while Bren will consider the rotate right now and go over to B site. There's still a pitch coming here from Akashi, but Borkum, he is ready for that one. Addition right here. Dykelem though, is he gonna win the scuffle against Jesse Vash? Yes, he does. Still, 125 HP against Borkum down to 72 points. Borkum knows exactly where Dykelem is, but he does have that tailwind. He's just like, I'm out. Oh, my Suka! 
Oh no, but the so Kidai again. And again, Bim, the angles that they take, the places that they hold, have been the stations and the toll gates that Brent Esports have not been able to clear out as Cerberus defends well one more time. It's just time and time again. To say it, it's a very simple statement, but they really just need to stop this game from happening. They need to stop this game from continuing, <laughs> and they have to finish off their opponent already, or else Cerberus will get back on their feet, go for even more and more of these rounds, and we will get an overtime situation. But unfortunately for Cerberus, their shining light in this darkness, Kishi, has already been left. busted by Bren. Not only that, Lockdown plays go with some Nano Swarms, and Cerberus, they will have to respect this lockdown setup here from Dispenser. Cosmic Divide is going to be going down, however, for the side of CES, at least going to try to delay the push. Dubstep is down to 50% HP. Akashi on the overlook here. He does go down in the hands of Wits. Again, Wits, such a stalwart in this entire game. Suka gets a kill on to Jesse Bash, but then it's just a scuffle, a complete scuffle over here. Welcome on to the side. Oh, and Brand had so far. They should have money for this round and the next, if ever it will be. Two agents will get more value because Kishi as well as Wits is going to be that head-to-head -head yet again in a way. Team play versus individual play and Brent right now is going to be able to get two so far. Surfers still fighting on back behind the boxes. Kishi there yet again gave you a take that and this is going to be a big start here for Surfers. Asuka will find his four guns. Secure with the sight. Jesse Bash still going for the plant. He will get tagged quite a bit by the shock dart but not fully. And here we have it. Recon dart flung into the air. will land later on. I'm actually trying to count in my head how long it takes for it to land when it's flowing into the air like that. I think it's just gonna land the nick of time here, but Borkum out with a paranoia, just get taken down by Dykelem underneath heaven. Sebastian still finding to take down Dykelem right now, gonna get the refrag. It's gonna be 4v3 there as Kishi throws out the curveball and is looking for anyone to take down, but Jesse Bash with a punish instead, and Jesse Bash is not done. It's three here for Bash, but it's on the board as well, and this Fesser tried to play into the sewer, but it's now 1v1. Fathom in hand here for Loki as time is ticking. Is there even any time now for Cerberus? There we have the defuse with Stoke calling to action, and while sure Loki has that Hunter's Fury, so I do understand the logic behind this decision. And there we go, Hunter's Fury on Jesse Bash. We know the Jesse Bash guarantee. But job is going to be taking down Loki as well. Ah, it starts. And there we have it, Dubstep Bash stepping on to that seaside basically with themselves and the Hunter's Fury respectively. But Suka going on. And Suka and Akashi looking for a pinch. Spikes planted here, Vim. Can we actually make this one work? Oh no, though, the plans of Cerberus, they fall to the wayside after the Seekers. And now, with the scouting information, it's Brand Esports knowing exactly where Akashi is. It's 2v1 with the regrowth now going for the heels off the Jesse Bash with line of sight. Not only that, Recon Dart is there, kind of Recon Dart. In response from Akashi, bounce, bounce, go onto the ground and their win. Kind of dicey, let's be real. Cerberus doing an incredible job of wiping out everyone on the Brand roster but just couldn't get the defuse on the spike. But next two, very convincing game for Bren Esports. And we count how Bren has improved so far and they're proving it here in the SEA scene. Kishido and Akashi on the board and Cerberus proving that they will not back down from a fight. Wits in the meantime, find Akashi in response and it's 4v3 here. Kishido quite low, running back now, has been shut down as Wits will force Kishi back to the connector there. But Jesse Bash doesn't care about the blinds. He's gonna take down the Phoenix one and Suka and Dyklem. They will get their names on the board as well. Borkum though, he's got him one. He won here. And this is Borkum time to HP and a dream tick tock on the clock and just one more shot to rule them all and one shot to find them true that's just it that's all they get from that at Brent Esports meanwhile dubstep going for that aggressive operator on attack he does get one onto left. Loki execution is nigh for Brent Esports onto C site standing with Spencer though on the board now all about all up to a cash here can he even do anything against Bren not this time and there you go five flash out and make a play maybe if you had a sky you could flash out and make a play but they don't but you know what Renny sports is gonna make a play onto a side here dykelem does get one onto wits lockdown though bending them off here vim and borkum he's stuck but it's not the worst situation he can try to step if ever that's the case but dykelem look at the angle he's taking this is gonna be perfect dispenser though in the meantime gone out ah the timing the timing the timing was just perfect. Mm. Cerberus Esports, they such a smart team. Incredible, incredible efforts to make it to the playoffs. But right now, it's getting out-muscled by Bren. And yeah. it's just a fact here that it's been seven rounds in a row. 
and it hasn't stopped so far, Vim. You know, you can tell from, from how CES is moving around the map that they're going in favor of Brenny Sports again and again and again. Oh. And even though Cerberus wants to contend! My god! But seems like Wits will be the one that gained entry here. Arrow onto backside, Loki pops out that gravity well. Suka though holding the line yet again and there we go, that backside has been his baby and he's happy to stay there to get to the Ducks the four come on the board all about the cashy now here by the garage but But Bren just knowing what to do every single time trying to reading their opponent is Ducks that takes out Akashi right there and uh, side and four is on the fall cycle him though perfect opportunity Using the alarm but as distraction, yeah, catching out the Spencer, and those are the scenarios where we love how servers plays. Just mm. active proactivity, just active on the passivity rather, and just holding those defensive angles in such a good motion, in such good timing. And Zyklem, he's showing how good he can be with the 3k. It's all up the dubstep right now, but Loki will shut him down a little. And while the Vietnamese squadron has been fighting on back, and has been as gritty as they could be, the results speak for themselves, and the thing there from Dubstep speaks volumes of how this game is going for servers. Brand Esports off the good start there with a sheriff pickup from afar. This time though, Akashi answers back with the free classic, and there's nothing you can beat for than free. And right now, Kishi gonna be beating Borkum there. Can Cerberus get for though? That's gonna be the question. Cash is gonna be on the board, the special still fighting on back, but Cerberus, they knew. They do wanna go to see, they can transition if need be, but here we go, Guided Light gonna be into play, and Witch trying to prepare on the right hand side. That's the lineup is perfect here for Witch! He has got it! Three so far, and everything that Cerberus has planned has gone to the wayside as Wit steps in front of the door and greets Cerberus with a resounding 4K. Wit's there! But unfortunately, it was just, of course, Wit's there looking prepared, and Dispenser saw Kishi, and now he's there, he's dead. That intel was enough for Dispenser to get that take on Daikalim though with a refrag, making it 4v4, and here comes Cerberus looking to set up on Seaside, but Brent Esports is still waiting it out. The Seeker's Hound Cerberus is in that location. It's an easy shot and an easy takedown, and here we go yet again. Dubstep, so precise, so secure. You can see it as a possibility as well, but it all lies to Daikalem making this lurk play happen. It does not. Wits is there to get that takedown, and the Guiding Light is just perfectly timed. If every single step of this round has been on a meter, it does feel like it's been going in the Brand Esports favor here, man. I don't think Akashi is even going for the spike plan. The SCA scene, slaying down some rivals in the community scene, just making it yet again a 3 4 3 being an SCA rep. Never count out the opposition here in the SCA playoffs as Cerberus will fight on back with the sheriffs. Not only that, Kishi now able to pick up a Phantom, and since he has the run back, he can actually use that later on for this round. Spike though has been planted up yet. It's a chance, a hope, a prayer here for Cerberus. But Bren looking to just go for that push on the B side. But Jesse Bash and Borkum do deck the nine. The one taps are real here from Cerberus. It's all up the damn set right now. He gets the first kill on the Kishi. Can he go for more? Dashing on in into the and once you've actually read them, and the fact that CS isn't really being unpredictable right now, they're going to be funneling in through Garage as Dispenser takes down Suka. Platform power position yet again in the Jesse Bash guarantee, and now you get it twice because it's going to be nice here for Jesse Bash. 2K4 and Borkholm on the board, and Dispenser will be there to wrap. And they are just hungry for some dessert right now. And this is going to be the next course on the menu here, Mr. Viminal. Because it's match point now for Brandy Sports. Again, just what a short lived breath of life for. Again, fantasy and oh, fury boy. does not mean reality, but Kishi, he realizes that Brent is coming from a site and he gets one there off to Jesse Bash with Borkum with the refrag. We're not done, it's 4v4. Dispenser, though, he might get caught here by Dykulim. And there we have the peak from Dispenser. Cashing now with a refrag, shutting down the turret. Phantom is picked up. It's 3v3 now. And Brandy Esports, well, can they actually make this hold work? Paranoia gonna get thrown on over. Shop that is the response. And Akashi will get that takedown. Witso on the board yet again. And the lockdown now taking on away. Cerberus buying space for themselves. As Brandy will have to respect that. A little bit of time here for both of these squads to change the pace of the game. You know, that lockdown is going to be in place. Zero players detained, but Wits is going to be going out with those Seekers. Oh, they're now they're going to attempt the retake. 
Akashi at the back of the sight, and there we have it! It's a big blind already! Putting a stunning presence onto Akashi there! Hunter's Fury though is the call! Forcing Brent to respect that the back on the way! Dumps up now with a push on forward and get the audacity off this path to go for the push! And the aggression from Brent Esports have had shown their fans bared! And Brent, they have slayed the Guardians of the semi-finals! Perhaps time is ticking, but this should be enough! CS, quite unfortunate for that one, it's just... And they just